Hey everyone, this is Ross. In today's video, I thought it'd be a great idea to show you guys the progress we've been having so far with the fig cuttings, uh, talk about where we're going, um, talk about kind of what to expect, The just give you guys some perspective on this whole process and how long it's taken. We're 20 days in right now, um, and there's not a whole lot really happening that you can visibly see, um, but this is definitely a good indicator of that you're doing a lot of things right. So I wanna show you guys kind of if uh, you're 20 days in or three weeks in or even a month in, this is kind of the, ex the results that you should be expecting. If you don't, uh, if you don't have this kind of res results, then uh, maybe you ought to think about changing something. So um, I do also wanna mention that I do have some varieties for sale. Very few cuttings left on FigBid. That link is in the description. I'm offering you guys a 30% off promotional code. You have to just message me on FigBid, uh, the promotional code ROSS. Um, do not pay before you pay through PayPal. Um, send me the promotional code. I'll adjust the shipping. You guys will get that discount. I have things like Bavera Branca, Barb Malone, Detrace Displace, Toronto Unknown, LSU Huye, Diane Manel, Martinenka, White Marseille, Sultane, Nalaga, Fico Love, Negretta, Nero 600M, Improved Celeste, Gozo Gem, aka GM175, Green Michurinska, and White Triana. So there's actually really good quality varieties left. Um, quite a few of those I really highly value and um, I certainly recommend them to a lot of you guys out there in a whole host of different climates. Um, let's kind of show you guys the success that we've been having so far with not just our own cuttings but actually with cuttings that we've been receiving from trades or friends or whatever it is. Uh, you can see a number of varieties and there's you know a lot of green showing here. Um, this cutting actually back here is a cutting that was in my fridge for an entire year. And you can see it's already leafing out. Um, so that's pretty impressive. We've got some Ador Azores Dark back here that's leafing out. Uh, both of them actually are leafing out. And, you know, leafing out not, is not always a guarantee. And you should know that, you know, like if, if this is just showing some leaves, that's a great sign that you have the right environment. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that there is activity and the right activity going on in the soil, right? We want to have roots and we want to have leaves at the same time, um, or preferably roots and then leaves. Um, so, you know, just because I'm seeing leaves up here doesn't necessarily mean that this is a success by any means. However, this is a great sign that you have good quality in your cuttings. Um, now, what could happen is that these leaves could kind of just sit here and do nothing. And that's a nice sign that you have a couple things wrong. Either it hasn't rooted out, it hasn't put out roots, or the, the, the cutting is rotting, or your lights are not working out. So you need to make sure you kind of evaluate one of those three things, or all three of those th three things. Because this one right here actually looks like this is off to a great start. You can see it's continually growing. You know, these are putting out once they get to like a, a certain leaf size, then you know there's got to be some roots attached to the bottom, right? I don't have to have, uh, you know, these clear pots to be able to tell. I can really tell by really just looking at the, the leaves and you can honestly just get a good picture that way of what's below. Um, you know, not always the case, but like, let's say something like this, this white Madeira cutting is leafing out all over the place. I think there's a good chance that this is a nice success or will be a success in terms of having roots, but you know, the leaves are not very strong. The, the growth is not very strong. So, um, you know, it's only going to really put out so many leaves and so much, uh, so much growth here without support from below, um, until it gets that support, your tree is going to sit there and do nothing. So you need to make sure that the temperature is right in here. So right now we're sitting at 77. It's usually fluctuates in here between 75 and 81, it looks like. Um, looking up here at my thermometer, see that next to that pumpkin. Um, so we're doing everything right. And we have the right quality cuttings from the start. We have the right environment. We have the right soil moisture. 
Um, so everything's off to the races for me. This is all, and even the lights, right? Of course I know from the beginning that the lights are gonna work out. I may wanna lower them a bit. You know, they should be about four inches away from the leaves. But overall, this is the, it's all successful here. This is all really what you should be expecting about three weeks in. Um, now, not all of these, you can tell, have leafed out. So some of them are doing their thing. If I get really closely, you can tell and you can see individually, like this guy back here, you can barely see it, but he's leafing out. Um, so overall, <clears throat> the majority of these are on their way to a success. But there's a good chance um, that some of these are just going to have to take a little bit longer than others. And there's no real way to tell. You know, I have some Campaneri over here that are both leafing out, some Verdino del Nord. We have some Negra de Agde, all from my own trees. Um, you know, here's some Neruchiola de Elba in this bin that are leafing out. So. You know, it's a good sign, of course, that I had the right quality to begin with. We took the cuttings at the right time. We cared for the cuttings. We had them in the fridge, stored properly. Um, you know, and now the rooting process begins. We're having no hiccups. So, but there is going to be, like I said, there's just going to be some cuttings that take a bit longer than others. Why is that? I don't necessarily know. But I can tell you right now, right off the bat, the whole theory of like, oh, certain varieties are just more difficult to root than others is just nonsense because I have probably in here, you know, 40 or so varieties and it's not like I can individually point out one of them is not a success. Um, every single one of them at least is showing some sort of sign of life and, uh, you know, maybe not every single one of them, but I'll bet you if I wait long enough, give these guys enough time to be in this environment, they will start to do their thing. Um, and that's just kind of what we run out of is patience. We don't necessarily know what's happening, but like I said, it's three weeks in, we should be seeing some kind of activity for sure. Um, but again, these cuttings can take, you know, up to two months before they really do much of anything. Um, you may have some that are just very stubborn for whatever reason, and you just have to be patient. You have to maintain that right level of moisture in the soil. And what I would also suggest is playing around with the temperature. Get yourself uh, a higher room temperature, get yourself maybe a heat mat, um, get yourself a difference in um, not just the temperature, but also the, the soil moisture. Play around with this. This is, you know, you can kind of help them along and budge them a little bit, but a little bit too much care is not gonna go well for you so it's you know you still want to sort of neglect them i really haven't looked at these um i'm gonna be honest i put the mulch on here and i watered them in once since i started these but other than that i haven't really been in this closet and looked around to see what was going on um so i'm essentially neglecting them i'm not caring for them as closely as you would think and um just let them do their natural process and if for whatever reason, there's a time in the near future where a lot of these are not doing a whole lot, then I may need to change something up. And that, that'll, at that point, be up to me. And um, that's why we give ourselves about three months in this closet for these cuttings to get their act together before we, uh, we trans, uh, transfer them outside. So I wanna thank you guys here for watching this, this video. It really is pretty much every, close to every variety in here has a number of, uh, has some sort of activity. I would say out of all the varieties I started, out of all the cuttings I started, there's about 80 or 90 of them. Half of them have some sort of activity three weeks in. So that's great. Uh, that's a great sign. We're doing everything right. Um, the cuttings I took again were of the utmost quality. We stored them properly. Everything is going swell. I hope you guys are having a great rooting season as well, and we will talk to everybody soon. Um, definitely for more updates in the future on rooting fig cuttings. Take care, guys.